Hello, I am Sarah McCormack. I'm the National Lead for Healthy Ireland in the HSC. Over the next few minutes, I will share with you some of the work of our HSC Health and Wellbeing team. It is recognised nationally and internationally that healthcare systems must prioritise primary prevention, early intervention and improving health and wellbeing to reduce the growing levels of chronic disease. Chronic disease is largely preventable and a change in our lifestyle behaviour can bring about an impact to our health and well-being. During COVID-19, we have seen more and more people take a greater interest in their own health and well-being. Improving the health and well-being of our population is a key principle of the Health Reform Programme. Sláinte Care identifies the need to reorientate services from acute service provision to primary and social care. Our partnership with Healthy Ireland in the Department of Health and Sláinte Care help us to deliver on the various health and wellbeing policy priority programmes, which include a focus on tobacco control, physical activity, healthy eating, positive mental health, sexual health and reducing the harms of alcohol. HSC Health and Wellbeing have a number of public facing campaigns. These include Quit. Our latest successful communication campaign launched in January encourages people to take the 28 day challenge and stay quit for 28 days. Tobacco is one of the risk factors that if changed can dramatically improve people's health. Smoking is a risk factor for acute respiratory infections like flu and COVID-19. Helping people to quit smoking increases their chances of avoiding the risk of serious infection and other complications that are linked to smoking. Our focus during COVID-19 has been on social media activity aimed to encourage people to avoid harmful patterns of drinking and highlight the more serious impacts on mental health. Our askaboutalcohol.ie website offers great tools and resources for people and for services and has seen context increase by 70% in 2020. Recently, HSC Health and Wellbeing hosted a Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorders Prevention webinar, which was part of a drive to encourage expecting mothers not to drink alcohol during pregnancy. On the health eating front, we have the START campaign, which is a partnership between Safe Food, HSC and Healthy Ireland. Our aim is to encourage and support parents to make changes in the family to support healthier lifestyle for all. The campaign focuses on providing parents with practical advice and resources to help with healthier meals and snacks, increasing playtime and physical activity, reducing screen time and improving sleep. Resources and supports are available on makeastart.ie. The My Options campaign promotes HSC unplanned pregnancy support services. My Options is a HSC free phone line that provides free and confidential information and counselling to people experiencing an unplanned pregnancy. My Options also provides a 24 by 7 nursing team for medical support and reassurance over the phone to people who are in the process of having or who have recently had an abortion. In 2019, there were over 13,000 calls to My Options and over 2,700 calls to the nursing helpline. We also provide funding to 11 services to deliver free and accessible face-to-face -face unplanned pregnancy and post-abortion counselling. For more information, you can visit myoptions.ie. Face-to-face -face training has been suspended during COVID-19, but we have successfully transitioned two of our mental health uh, programmes which are now delivered online. Stress Control is a three-week programme viewed by over 12,000 participants designed to help people cope with stress and strains of life. We will shortly launch Minding Your Wellbeing. This program is designed to support people to take a positive approach to their mental wellbeing and focus on things such as self-care and how we can boost our resilience. In line with Slaunch's Care New Model of Care, Health and Wellbeing is implementing Making Every Contact Count. This program encourages and supports healthcare staff to undertake brief interventions with service users in order to support a positive behaviour change in the areas of smoking, alcohol consumption, physical activity and healthy eating. A range of resources are available, including an online training programme to support staff to start these conversations. Resource materials across all of the topics are available to help guide and support service users 
and these include a Know Your Numbers card, which encourages people to familiarise themselves with their own numbers, such as cholesterol, and signpost them to further information. We also develop health and wellbeing programmes for preschools, primary and post-primary schools. We work with the Department of Education to deliver evidence-based training programmes for teachers. Last year, an alcohol and substance misuse programme called Know the Score was launched and our mental wellbeing programme for young people such as Mind Out for Senior Cycle Post Primary or Zippy Friends for Primary have been running for many years. We have worked with the Department of Health on the development of a healthy campus charter for higher education institutes, which is now in the final stages of development. This healthy campus charter seeks to strengthen support for health and wellbeing in third level institutes and colleges. Our network of funded partners deliver various health and wellbeing initiatives to priority targeted programmes such as people with a disability, older adults, men and young people. We will continue to further support and develop health and wellbeing initiatives to improve the health and wellbeing of our population. Thank you for watching and for your continued support.